Welcome to this second video on this market dynamics issue. And in particular, in this case, we're going to talk about how you cross the chasm. That is, when you're on the curve and all of a sudden the organization starts to, or the marketplace starts to accelerate, customers start demanding new features and functions quickly, and competitors are jumping in in order to supply those features oftentimes very well-financed competitors, you are finding that you're having to invest also just to keep up and at the same time the buying behavior patterns of your customers is changing. They're more interested in getting a good price than just being buying your product with your name and your, your brand and, and, and being willing to work with you on improving the product. Now they just want something to solve their problem. It's well established that it solves their problem. The market is accelerating and you are now trying to keep up. Many businesses fail during this important phase of crossing the chasm. The key here, according to these books, this book by Jeff Moore of the name Crossing the Chasm, um, is to identify the customers that you are going to satisfy and then provide that complete solution. That is, you want to build customer loyalty to a certain particular niche of the market. So essentially, it maybe goes against the grain a little bit, but you're going to give up some of the market to other players. Like you may give up the low-end market to other players, or you may give, in, give up the high-end to a Cadillac type of a product. You may give up some geographic regions or whatever. The key here is to find a customer set and then make sure you give them the full solution to what they need and focus on satisfying their needs. Essentially, what you're doing as you're taking a general product and making it specific to one particular market segment and market set, which becomes your particular marketplace. You can see that sort of thing happening as, my, as Apple, for example, starts being faced with competition from Samsung and others, and they start to focus their products on this sort of high-end market, the very loyal Apple customers. They're at a different scale, but it's the same basic problem. Originally, they owned the market, and they were the ones driving when innovations occur, but now other players are in there trying to innovate, and that causes things to be quite difficult. And as I said, many companies, particularly innovative companies, fail because they are simply not ready for the changes that are occurring and they, the driver of the market moving to the customer. That's why it's so important that you communicate clearly with the customer, learn what they need, and provide for them the solution to their problem. That's what the trick for crossing the chasm is all about. So how do you choose the target customers to go after? You want people that are buying your product, have been buying your product, will continue to buy your product for a compelling reason. It's this thing about the customer having a, having a problem or a need that your particular product or service is satisfying. Either it improves their productivity or perhaps it reduces their cost it may be something that gives them something that they couldn't have had before. In other words, you are starting to understand better and better and better the specific customer needs of that, of that particular niche, that particular segment you're focusing on, and you are going to give them that better than anyone else. Other competitors focus on different customer sets. You find yours and you focus on them. As the changes occur, you're provide, you have better information about your set of customers and you make sure they have what they need. This is how Jeff Moore talks about effectively crossing the chasm. The market dynamics have now shifted very quickly from one where you're leading it and products and new ideas are the ones leading it to where customer demands are drawing innovation into the marketplace and you're assigning or aligning yourself with a certain customer set and providing them that solution. So as that grows, you grow and you continue to finance your growth and the market grows with you and your company grows to a great value and you sustain and you successfully cross the chasm. An important area of growth to be thinking about and to be working towards as you build your entrepreneurial model. In the next discussion, we'll start to talk about what happens beyond that, how you consolidate a market position once you have managed to cross the chasm and sustain into this growing market, as the market gets more and more competitive, how does one consolidate their market position? That's what we'll talk about in the next video.